Good morning, beautiful people! Today's video is a little bit different from our usual vibe. We decided to sit down and open up about what we have been going through, what we are going through. During our live stream, we told you that we were going to edit some unedited footage from Canada 2017 during winter, so truck camper life in winter in Canada. But we have to postpone this because, as you may see, we are not doing so well. We are experiencing this for the first time. Guys, we got COVID. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our mini van Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. We tested positive for COVID now, it's been seven days. We are doing a little bit better now compared to Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We weren't being able to sit on the computer to work because we were both doing very bad, I have to say. Yeah, really bad. And so we would like to take the time to share this experience with you, especially because, uh, as you may know, I am pregnant. I will, be, I will be entering the eighth month next week. So in four, four days, basically. And so I think it's important to share this and what we have been going through, what we are going through, and how is everything going. Yes, let's, let's get a step back and uh, talk about how we got here. So in the last few months, uh, we have been super cautious. Uh, yeah. We were super careful. We, we tried uh, so hard uh, to pay attention uh, about everything. Uh, um, we only saw physically few people and uh, all of them, uh, they got uh, the swab test uh, negative before meeting us. Uh, just because, you know, Sara, she is in a high risk uh, uh, pregnancy due to the the low lying placenta, I have gestational diabetes, I have an infection that is not going away, so I'm taking antibiotics, um, trying to fight this infection. And so the doctor told us to be very, very, very cautious and to take all the precautions to be isolated. And this is what we, we have done. We have seen probably 10 to 12 people in the past two months. Yes. So. Even just with a regular pregnancy, women yeah. are subjects that are uh, high exposed, I have to say, and mm. higher risk. Higher to risk it. to COVID infection. We were afraid, uh, and um, you know, it's better not to risk. But as you may remember, last week uh, we were at uh, Mama Bruna's house in Torino because uh, we decided to go there on Sunday because we had uh, some um, hospital checkups uh, on Monday morning, super early. So we decided, okay, let's go there Sunday and uh, we can have the live stream uh, at uh, Mama Bruna's house because we have a, a better internet connection and in the next morning we are just near the hospital so we don't need to wake up super early. And uh, Mama Bruna, she got a um, swab test uh, negative, uh, so we were okay, oh, let's go there, if everything is okay. But then uh, Sunday when we were there, my mother, she started having all these symptoms uh, and uh, um, the day after we knew that uh, probably she, she was positive. Uh, so we, after the hospital checkups, uh, we decided to go all the three of us, uh, Mama Bruna, Sara, and I, to to get the tests. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, she was positive, uh, and unfortunately also Sara was positive. My test was was still negative at yeah, that point because it's, a, it's the the test that you received the result after. 
24 hours or 18 hours, 24 hours. So we were there in the morning and we received the result in the evening. So we were already home. And so I started to feel some cough, some pain chest, something that was not okay. And Luca as well after a few hours. Yes, I, I think my worst day wasn't that first night. I think it was the second night and the third night. I mean, I'm still sick. I'm not okay yet. Today is uh, day Saturday. Six. Yeah, day six. Today's Saturday, so it's almost uh, uh, one week. It's six days. And guys, we are both uh, fully vaccinated without the booster. So we uh, get we got two doses, and Luca had uh, the the booster next week. Yes, I had my and third doses, uh, the booster. Uh, next week uh, so and I have the my booster in February because I received the last one in the middle of October so we weren't able to complete the cycle because of of this because we tested positive and of course like I we felt so bad in the beginning we are concerned about uh, the impact of coronavirus on, on yourself and on the baby. My first thought was the baby, oh my god, I was not able to protect the baby as much as I could, so I blame myself, you know, you you just started to go in that negative direction and then uh, I called my gynecologist uh, as soon as possible and she told me that not be not to be too worry, but the reality is that they don't have enough data about pregnant women with COVID is one year now that they are testing pregnant women so it's not easy to say what is going to happen. Yeah. What they know is that if you get COVID while pregnant, pregnant you can have like from 15 to 20 percent higher risk and especially because my immune system right now is so weak that I'm fighting everything from every corner of my, my body uh, they told me that the overall risk for a pregnant woman is, is low, but you could experience some, some premature birth or some problems during the, the, the labor. So we don't know. Uh, I feel the baby moving. I would like to share this with you because I try to find you know some info about pregnant woman uh, with COVID and you cannot find a lot. So I will share with you my own experience. This is not the law, this is not what you have to do, but this is just my my experience. Our symptoms were um, not the same, pretty similar. So I started with a really strong uh, chest pain. That was the thing that I was most worried about because something that I never experienced before. A very dry cough sore throat and um, tiredness, headache and Luca is the same but Luca had also fever and I think sore throat more than yeah. what I have and pain and in, in, the ears. in the ears and I didn't have fear, fever at all. But what I suggest you to do is to contact immediately your healthcare provider to speak with your doctors as soon as you can. I contact my uh, gynecologist first because I know that she had COVID in December so probably she she could help me a little bit and she could tell me what I need to do and there is no much much that you can do actually if your symptoms are not so severe that you need hospitalization that this is another case mm -hmm. so in my case I was able to take paracetamol this is only medicine that I I could take right now during pregnancy um, having something hot to drink, infusion with fresh ginger, lemon, honey, not so much because you know I have gestational diabetes so the sugar that I can take during the day are low but honey is a natural antibiotic so um, a little spoon every day I think it's, it's, it's okay. This is a citron and a ginger infusion and then I made this morning I boiled for 20 minutes some fresh ginger. So I will add a little bit of this with this. Luca doesn't like the ginger so much. And then I will add some fresh lemon juice and some organic natural honey. And then inhalation with thyme from our garden, bicarbonate. This is very important. Mm -hmm. 
and mint. This is what you can use and what you can do if you are pregnant and if you got COVID. So, um, preparing some inhalation with some fresh mint, thyme and bicarbonate. Then we'll add some hot water and I will stay here trying to breathe from 5 to 10 minutes. It's not a therapy against COVID, but it's something that can make you feel better, especially for the sore throat and the pain here <clears throat> and the cold and the headache. Oh. It? Oh. It's super hot. The doctor suggests us to have a pulse oximeter that is um, monitoring your oxygen levels in the blood and you can do this at home. So we are both monitoring this. The level of the oxygen of the blood. Yes. Should not be below 93, 94, but if it's higher. If I can give you a suggestion. Uh, try to don't panic, you know, even if I was the first one that I panic for one day two days you, Luca can Yeah <laughs> can tell. Um, Unfortunately, we, we haven't filmed uh, because I have to say we were pretty as Sarah said she was panicking and uh, we were pretty scared uh, and um, I remember I think for two nights uh, I was waking up uh, all, all night uh, and uh, I was having uh, sometimes difficulties to, to breathe uh, and uh, like the this. pain in, in the head uh, was so strong that our focus was just to, okay, let's try to get over this uh, we film. We filmed during the day only a few times so that we can share with you some moments, but please, uh, if you are out there and if you are experiencing this, don't panic because this won't help. I started to change my mindset thinking about the health of the baby, that I need to be strong for her, that she's fighting as well, that everything will be, go fi will be fine, that we will get through this together. Uh, the only thing that was also scary to me is that during this week, during week 30, 31, 32, I have so many checkups and it's so difficult to book it right now in Italy. The, the hospitals are, are collapsing basically and so I had the vaccine for Pertosa, I don't know how to say it. I have another really important ultrasound. I have the first visit for the diabetes. I was not able to still, after one month, they gave me the first visit after one month to talk with a doctor. I don't know if I will test negative next week. If I will test positive again, I need to stay home other seven days. That there means, is nothing yeah. you can do up against it. Yeah, that means that uh, all the visits and the checkups that we have next week uh, for the pregnancy and for the di diabetes uh, and uh, for the blood test uh, and uh, everything. Urine, we, everything that I have to check. They will be postponed uh, at least for uh, one more week. Uh. And I have to go without Luca because Luca, starting from today, needs to stay home other 10 days. So if my answer yes. is because why <laughs> because uh, I I decided uh, since uh, uh, since um, I had five days uh, of isolation yeah from Monday because you were negative but in contact with one positive so <laughs> I was negative uh, but uh, I was in contact with positive so I had uh, five days of uh, isolation so today that is Saturday I went to the pharmacy I got a a swab test uh, and I'm positive now. Of course. Because so we of knew course it. <laughs> uh, we knew it, but I wanted uh, to to result positive uh, because uh, at least uh, um, the health system know that I got COVID. Uh, yeah. If uh, something happens to me 
in the next future. Uh, also knowing because uh, next week I have the, um, um, the booster, the third uh, dose, uh, and uh, probably now that I'm, uh, that I'm positive, uh, they will have to postpone that because uh, I'm, um, I'm in isolation for 10 days, uh, so I will not be able to go there. Yeah, the rules are crazy, yeah. you know, we started basically COVID together on Monday, but then because of Luca had the second doses in July, have the second doses in October, uh, everything changed based on your personal experience, but it's, a ve it's very chaotic, like even the doctors are confused, if you ask them, they, they don't know what to say exactly. <laughs> it's a mess. They, it's a mess. And then guys, we are isolated, you know, that we live in the mountains, Luckily, we have Lucas there that could uh, bring us some food and some medicine. Since we are both in quarantine, we cannot go outside, we cannot go and buy medication, we cannot go and buy grocery. So luckily, Lucas dad is, com <coughs> Lucas dad is coming today. He's here and he's bringing us <coughs> some groceries. Ciao, Lady Claudio! Bringing us medicine and food. Oh, medicines. Breast sticks. Breast sticks. Pandoro. Boba. Grazie. Grocery. Some soup. Va bene. So this is the only visit we got that is safe. Yeah. So guys, it's not easy, it's tough, but we will get through this. The only thing is that having COVID during pregnancy is not fun at all. It's really hard. The worst is that both Luca and I are really KO. We are not when I'm standing up, it's very difficult. We need to lay down. Luca has a high fever this morning. We don't have the strength to cook and to clean. So it's a mess all over. It seems that it's getting, it's getting worse. But I hope that in a few days we'll feel better. It's tough, guys. Day number three. And Daddy Claudio is here again. <laughs> is bringing us some food and some missing pills. I had a uh, high fever and uh, it was hard to breathe so I haven't slept so much and uh, I hope uh, tonight will be better. I hope uh, this gets well soon because it has been uh, hard and tough and uh, if it stays like this and it gets better, I will not be so, I mean, afraid, but uh, I was afraid. I was afraid for the baby, but hopefully there will not be any consequences. Ciao! Quattro Covid test veloci. Mm, grazie. Perfetto. Vediamo. E poi qui c'è il cibo, c'è il pollo, c'è il sushi, c'è tutto quanto. Grazie mille, tu come stai? Va bene, va bene, ciao ragazzi. Ciao Claudio, grazie di tutto. Grazie a Ci sentiamo poi. Ciao. Ciao. So we got some rapid test that we can do at home so before doing the official one we will be sure that it will be negative otherwise if we tested positive again next week we need to stay home longer and longer maybe other 10 days i don't know so this is for self-testing use some friends of us uh, for example rosella she brought us other magazine uh, magazine medicines <laughs> medicines we was... got some wood also Day four today. So the headache is less. And even all the sore in all the body is less. But I have an extreme cold. 
still a dry cough and pain in my ears everywhere but we have a good news that since Luca wasn't able to cut and to store all the wood that we would need during these very cold freezing days we ordered some wood even it was really difficult to find some and now the guy is coming so if we will be not able to move from here and not see anyone at least we can stay cozy and warm <coughs> uh, and every time is so painful because my belly is hurting so I was really really scared it looks like we are in a pharmacy right now or the people say don't worry about it but at the same time you worry, it's impossible not to worry if it was just me or Luca, the both of us, it's okay but there is a little girl involved so um, I hope that nothing will happen to her and this will not damage her in any ways we are not vlogging a lot during these days because it's, there is nothing so interesting to show you guys so we are basically living on the sofa a lot of tissues for me and Luca's fever today was better than we are watching a Netflix series and we are trying to rest, listen to music, not working too much on the computer because it's really hard to stay focused. Everything here is painful. I'm really dry and trying to apply some oil. It was so difficult even to cook and to, to do the easiest thing, you know, when you are feeling bad at least the other person can support you. And in this case we were both like destroyed and yeah the, the bad thing is that being here isolated we couldn't call you know for uh, for food uh, to some uh, take away you know they, they bring you and uh, just call a pizza or call whatever if you we are sick uh, we yeah. it's really hard uh, to cook uh, and to eat uh, and to so do it was a mess basically do everything <coughs> like right now we are we are doing better and we hope that next week we will be able to to edit something more interesting for you guys. We are sorry today's episode wasn't uh, super mm, super interesting. exciting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we we couldn't work, we couldn't edit. Uh, we had to stay at bed and uh, try to get better. And if you like to see a very cool interview that we had like a few weeks ago together with Lisa from Live in Italy magazine we will put the link in the description box below so you can see something that uh, it's interesting an interview is 1 hour and 16 and there is an article in the interview so if you want to read it or if you want to watch the video, the YouTube video you can enjoy some more time with us yeah we answer to a lot of questions, uh, interesting questions uh, yeah. so go check it out uh. And guys, send us your positive vibes, please. Please don't worry, we will get through this. Is we are together, we are stronger together. Even if we are sick, both of us, we will try to help each other. <laughs> Remember that we love you, we appreciate you. And thank you for coming along with us, even during these tough, hard times. And even our little baby girl, say you, I love you. Yes, if you did well enough, uh, <laughs> then uh, she's uh, upside down. Bridge, yeah. And uh, the low light placenta and the, the diabetes. Uh, yeah, I felt terrible. I said, I have everything. My uh, gynecologist also laughed because I said, I have everything, you know. The only thing that is good is the pressure. And uh, the blood pressure is okay right now. But, but you now, never know. <laughs> now, baby girl can also say, she got through COVID as well. She will be a warrior. She will be strong. She will be a warrior, this little girl. I can't wait to meet her and play with her. I also have to say, this mommy, she's a, a warrior as well. I'm super proud of Sarah. She's strong. She's always uh, positive uh, and uh, she's a warrior, always.
were your parents yeah. always together. We are rocks, guys. We are rocks. <laughs> <laughs> rock stars. So you want to say the Italian words for today's video? The Italian words for today's video are... Siamo ammalati. We are sick. Abbiamo preso il Covid. We got Covid. Positivo o negativo? Positive, negative. Siamo ammalati. We got... Uh, sorry. Uh, we are sick. <laughs> Abbiamo preso il Covid. We got Covid. Positivo, negativo. Positive and negative. Beautiful people, we will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao.